What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get Facebook style chat head notifications for your text messages, among many other cool features. The app behind this one is called Yet Another Android Texting App, or Yada for short. But despite that apathetic name, this is one of the most robust SMS apps that I've ever seen. Yada is currently in its alpha phase, but you can download the app directly from the developer. And I've got that download waiting for you over at the full tutorial, so head to the link in the description below this video to grab your copy. Then once the download is finished, make sure you have unknown sources enabled in settings under security. Then tap the download complete notification to begin. From here, review the app's permissions, then press install. When that's done, just tap open and you'll be taken directly into Yada. Right at the top of the screen, Yada lets you know that it hasn't been set as your default SMS app yet. So tap that button, then press yes on this next pop-up. Now to get the chat head notifications going, you'll need to take a quick trip into settings. From here, go into Default, then tap Pop-Up on this next menu. There are various styles to choose from, but the chat head style is right at the bottom of this list, so tap that. And aside from the notification style, there are a bunch of awesome options that you can use to customize your texting experience like never before. I can't possibly cover all of them in one video, so you'll have to have a look through them yourself. But one of the cooler options is right here, Push Bullet Quick Reply. This is going to be a paid feature when the app gets out of its testing phase, but for now you can enable it for free. Then, if you have Push Bullet installed on your phone and your computer, you'll get a pop-up box on the PC where you can respond to text messages without having to go grab your phone. Yada's main interface is unique as well. The messages are grouped by date rather than just context, so keeping up with the current conversation is a bit easier. Then you can swipe left or right on a message thread to expose more options. I'm not going to do it here, but all you have to do is swipe to highlight the action that you'd like to take, then let go, and it will be performed. Call and message are on the right, then mute and delete are on the left. Another cool feature that you get is the ability to create a message from any screen. Just tap this notification and a pop-up message editor will show up where you can send a message without leaving the current app. But give me a second and I'll shoot myself a text so that you can see the chat head style notifications. Pretty cool, right? And this will show up on top of any screen that you're using so you'll know who just messaged you regardless of what app you're currently in. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.